welcome back guys this is the third tutorial of the bootstrap tutorial series and in this tutorial we will add some meta tags into our web page so if you uh, go to the uh, getbootstrap.com and getting started page and below uh, there are uh, other, they, they, they have given a lot of information about this bootstrap so if you get, uh, uh, read this uh, it will be very beneficial for you people so this is the basic template starts with this basic HTML template or modify these examples we hope you will customize our templates and example adopting them to suit your needs so this is the basic template uh, that uh, we have already created for our own self and this is the, the template that is created by the bootstrap developers uh, the basic simple hello world template here we have doc type HTML HTML language EN language is English and meta tag char uh, character set UTF-8 and this is for the Internet Explorer and this is the viewport that we will add a little bit later and this is the title and here they have linked the CSS bootstrap.min.css and here they have uh, jQuery and then they have the bootstrap JS which we have already included so there are a number of examples uh, starter template bootstrap theme grades narrow jumper trend jumbotron navbar static navbar fixed navbar cover carousel block sign in page dashboard justify nav sticky footer sticky footer with nav off canvas so there are a variety of stuff here and if you want to disable responsiveness so follow these instructions over here which we will work on later on and bootstrap template with responsiveness disabled and here they have browsers and device support so they have given a lot of information about this as well and android they support chrome firefox but safari is not available and ios they support uh, chrome firefox supported and safari is also supported and in desktop uh, desktop browsers uh, on windows they have supported all but safari is not supported and with the compatibility issue as you know that the internet explorer has a lot of issues so they have sorted out here if you give it a read so it will be very good for you and let me go through this so there uh, is a variety of stuff and give it a read and we will simply add the meta text into our project the important text that we have is that language en is equal to english and now meta tag car set is equal to utf-8 and also meta tag uh, name is equal to viewport content is equal to width is equal to d e v i c e device test width and initial scale is equal to 1.0 so this is the character set and it will support all the uh, fonts uh, all the uh, utf8 characters and then we have the viewport now basically what is the viewport uh, PV port, the visible area of the web page is known as the viewport and uh, here uh, we, uh, we are saying that follow the width of the device there are different devices mobiles uh, tabs so they will follow the it will follow the width of the device and the initial scale is uh, the zooming scale is set to 1.0 and if you want to uh, disable the zooming in mobile screens or so you will have to add that content uh, here is whatever let, let me show you okay that if you come to the CSS part of this uh, get bootstrap.com here you can see that uh, initial scale is equal to zero and if you add user scalable this one user scalable uh, equal to no so what will happen is that uh, uh, users will be not will not be able to zoom your uh, site in mobile uh, screen so if you add this user, user, user scalable no it means that the users will not be able to uh, scale your uh, website it means that zoom your website so that's all that we have to add here and that's it for this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial